Good morning, church. Welcome to Sunday service. Jam two. How was your week? Was it good? You know, it's been great. This is January. This is the winter, but the weather was perfect, sunny and warm and nice. But you know what? In the morning and evening, it's kind of cold and chilly. Please stay warm and stay healthy. Okay? I don't know what happened to your life in this week, but. This is the time for speaking God and praising God. Let's commit this time to God. Okay? Today, this morning, Mina teacher is going to open us in prayer. Okay, ready? Put our hands together. Let's pray. Good morning, Jantia. Let's pray. Almighty God, we'd like to begin with giving you many things. We're weak, but strong. We're lost, but we're wise. We're so fearful, but we always find peace in your name, Father. We ask that we walk with you every day and that you help us to grow in faith, in hope, and love, Father. As we start our service, Father, we ask that you keep our spiritual leader and spiritual father, Pastor David, healthy and safe. And as he speaks, Father, let every single word be delivered and penetrate our hearts, for they're your own words. Your promises and your covenants, Father. At this time, we also want to pray for our friends who might be sick, for their recovery and their healing, and for those people who are not here with us, Father, that you pour your abundant blessings upon them, Father. We adore you, we love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jema, the week! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Third week of January. And this week's question is. Nathaniel, right? Nathaniel. Who invited Nathaniel? To meet Jesus. Mm. Ah. Nathaniel's friend. Actually, my, my friend's son's name is Nathaniel. Maybe his parents? I don't think so. He's friend John, I think. Mm. John? Hmm. So who invited Nathaniel to meet Jesus? Let's find out. Should we pick someone? Yes. To the family. Okay. Who should it be? Who's that? Jinkin! 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 Wow! Jim, please send me your answer. Who invited Nathaniel to meet Jesus? Please send me an answer. It's gonna be John. <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> it's gonna be Jesus. <laughs> God. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Goliath. Alright, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Bye.
Before even time began, my life was in His hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and tears. God knows everything. Do you remember that Andrew, one of Jesus' disciples, that he met Jesus finally, and then he was so excited to share this good news to his best friend, his brother, Andrew's brother. Who's Andrew's brother? Do you have an answer for that? One, two, three. Peter. Hey, Peter, I met Jesus. He's the Savior, the Messiah. Finally, Peter became a great godly man that he showed the gospel all around the world. He became a great leader. Isn't that amazing because of Andrew, that he shared about Jesus Christ to his best friend, his brother Peter. Then he became a really, really godly man. And another person, another best chemistry in the Bible, Philip. Do you know who Philip is? Philip is one of my uh, son, my youngest son's name is Philip, but in the Bible, then he met Jesus, he became a follower of Jesus, then he shared this good news, he wanted to share about Jesus to his best friend, Nathaniel. Let's jump into the Bible. The book of John, chapter 1, verses 43 and 48. Look at this. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for the Galilee and find him Philip. Verse 44. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Bethsaida. You know, the Hebrew Bethsaida, that means the village of the fishermen. So people, that village, they are the fishermen. So Philip and Peter and Andrew, they lived in the same town. And then Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found what Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophet also wrote, Jesus of the Nazareth, the son of Joseph. So the Philip was so excited. Hey, I have really good news, finally. You know what? As you look at the law, the Moses, five books that he mentioned about the prophet, the Jesus Christ, finally I met him. He's the Lord, the Messiah from the Nazareth, the Galilee. Then Nathaniel answered, Nazareth? Can anything good came from there? Nathaniel asked. At that time, you know, Nathaniel and Philip, 
They were looking forward to see the Messiah, the Lord, the King of Kings. He should be come from the big city like New York, like LA, like Jerusalem. But he's from Galilee. Galilee, which is kind of small town in Israel. So he think, no. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw the Nathanael approaching, he said of him, Here truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. How do you know me? Nathanael asked. Jesus answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Nathanael was so surprised. How did you know me? You, I never met you. Then you know me? Oh, you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Now Nathanael believed, finally, I have been looking forward to see the Messiah, the King of Kings. You are the one? Yes. And then Jesus said, verse 50, You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. Wow. You know what? Jesus knows everything about you, about me, about math and science and economics, you know, culture and everything because he created. He is the creator. Amen? So you know what? It's so simple and easy. Whenever, whatever you are stuck, you need some questions, you have some difficulties and problems, you need to ask God for help. You need to pray to God. Why? He knows everything. He knows about you and me and everything. Because He is the Creator, Almighty God. You know what? When I got saved, I think I shared this story a lot. When I was in your age, I lived in very countryside. I went to church every Sunday. Going to church was my habit. You know, I had a lot of fun with my friends. I knew about the Bible, that Jesus died the cross and resurrection. John 3.16, I memorized and everything, church is church for me, it's my playground. But you know what? When I was in your age, I was afraid to die. I was fear about that. What if I die? I know about the Bible. Then what if I die right now? Can I go to heaven or hell? I was not sure. But one day, the pastor explained about the gospel, the good news, that he, is, he was saying, was what I know, what I knew already. That Jesus, that he died for me on the cross to save me, and he buried, and he rose again after three days. Whoever believed that, they will be saved and have eternal life, not go to hell and heaven. Man, at that time, I knew it, but I was believed. Truly in my heart, I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Then I cried out, like, God, I'm sorry. Lord, I did so many bad things. But you died for me because of that sin to save me. Then he buried and rose again. Oh, God, thank you. Then I cried and I was happy. Two emotions mixed. Then after that, I shared this good news about Jesus, my friend. When I go to school, hey, you need to come to my church. I don't know about the Bible, about Jesus very well, but you need to come to church and listen to God. Listen to my pastor. Why? Because I have so many good friends. So I wanted to share this good news to my friend. Gentle, just like that. Andrew shared this good news to his best friend, his brother Peter. That Philip introduced Jesus to his best friend, Nathaniel. What about you, Gentle? Do you have your friends, those who are not going to the church, not believe in Jesus? You need to pray for him. You need to share this good news. If you don't know about the Bible, it's okay. Just ask them to come to our church. See the online service. Let's listen to God little by little. They can know. You know what? God created us. God knows everything about us. You and me and everything. Let's turn to Bible, the book of Psalm, chapter 139. You have searched me, Lord. Wow. God will search me. Who is my, my son and daughters? And then, and you know me. 
You know when I sink, when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. In verse 7, 8, 9, 10. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depth, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me and your right hand will hold me fast. Amen. Gen 2. Jesus the Lord, He is the Creator. The God is Almighty God. He knows where I am going what I'm thinking. If I try to avoid him and escape from him, go to the far side of the sea, he's there. Go up to the sky, I want to escape from God. Try to go up there, God is there. God is everywhere and with us and all the time. Amen. Amen. If you know Jesus, who Jesus is, you need to share this good news. You need to share this great gift about Jesus. You need to share this good news to your friend. Amen. Amen. Let's try this year. Let's invite at least three friends into our online service. If I open our church, they can come to the church and service together. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for teaching us. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for your amazing love. That we were still sinners. That you died on the cross and you saved us. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. Father, we love you. Because you are with us all the time. You are in the presence in our lives. We want to praise you and worship you with all our heart all the time and every time. If we have Jesus, we want to share this good news to our friends. Please help us to share this good news to our friends and give us boldness. Father, thank you for being our good father. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done for us on the cross. We love you because you loved us first. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Callie's World. Sometimes we vloggers like to play games. Who loves fun games? I can't hear you! But I bet everyone watching just said yes. This is a fun game to get to know someone. I'm going to ask my friend Gavin a bunch of silly questions and we'll see how well we know each other. Hey Gavin! <laughs> Kelly, I'm great. That's awesome. Are you ready for today's game? Yes, I can't wait. Okay, well, here we go. First question Would you rather swim in a pool of jello or swim in a pool of ice cream? Hmm, I take ice cream. It would be the yummiest swimming pool ever. Oh, that's cool. I would rather swim in a pool of jello. Ice cream is way too sticky. Okay. How about this one? Would you rather be the size of an ant or the size of a house? Ooh, that's a hard one. I would go with the ant size. It would be fun to crawl into tiny places. Really? I would rather be the size of a house. If I were a small ant, I would be scared of getting crushed. Oh wow, our answers are really different. I thought for sure we would have the same answers. Well, that's okay, Callie. We have different answers. That doesn't mean we don't know each other. You're right. I bet we will have the same answer to the next question, though. Would you rather take a nap or listen to a Bible story? Let's say it at the same time. One, two, three. Bible, Bible story! It's time for our Bible story. 
Today, we will learn a story about Jesus' disciples. What's a disciple? A disciple was someone who followed Jesus. They learned from Jesus. They ate with Jesus. They traveled with Jesus. They saw Jesus do amazing things. So they're like friends? Yeah, they were. One day, Jesus saw a man named Philip and said to him, Follow me. Philip decided to follow Jesus right away. Just like that, he knew that there was something very special about Jesus. That's why he even went and told his friend Nathaniel all about Jesus too. What did he say? Philip told Nathaniel that Jesus was the Savior they had been waiting for. For a long time. Yes, a very long time. And even though Nathaniel was nervous, he decided to go meet Jesus for himself. That had to be exciting. I know, right? When Nathaniel met Jesus, he didn't even have to say anything. Jesus started talking and said things about Nathaniel that only Nathaniel would know. Like what? Well, Jesus said he knew that Nathaniel was sitting under a fig tree before Philip came to talk to him. Now Nathaniel was pretty sure that Jesus was nowhere near that tree. So how did he know that? Nathaniel knew the only way Jesus was able to do this was because Jesus really was the savior they had been waiting for. Jesus told Nathaniel that by becoming Jesus' disciple, he would even see more amazing things. Isn't it crazy that Jesus knew Nathaniel was under that fig tree? Yeah, Jesus knows everything. I had fun learning more about you, Callie. Gotta go now. See you later, Callie. Okay, bye. I like that we are all getting to know each other through this vlog. But you know what gets me? So warm and fuzzy inside that Jesus knows everything about us too. He knows our names, our favorite color, our favorite food, what makes us happy, and what makes us sad. And I like that when I need someone to talk to, I can talk to him. Jesus knows us. And that makes me want to know Jesus better every day. Friends, it's time for me to run. Catch you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies. Good morning, Gem 2. It's Sam, teacher. And this week's sharing topic is about how you feel knowing that Jesus Christ knows you so well. Um, God has this presence, and he is the presence that's all around us in whatever we're doing. Um, so I, if you know the movie Star Wars, he's like the force and his presence is flowing through us, um, no matter what we're doing. And so he shows that to Philip and Nathaniel and, um, he actually shows them the heavens and he shows the angels that are going up and down, up and down in the heavens. Um, now how does that make you feel? Um, personally for me. You know, I am truly, you know, I feel confident and thankful and blessed that I know that he's with me 24 hours a day, even when I'm sleeping. I hope you feel the same way as I do. And I wish you all the luck. Okay, so share that and I'll see you next week. Bye, Jim 2.
John. John. Chapter 14, verse 6. 아, 근데 목사님, 그냥 네. 손으로 외우면 너무 재미없잖아요. 맞아요, 맞아요. 뭐, 다른 방법이 없을까요? We need to make some song or some uh, butt language. Special dance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Pastor David singing Micah's song over and over and yeah, over Micah, again. Yeah, Micah, seven, seven, Micah. That's right. Yeah, so should we get started on a new verse for this month? That's right. Pastor Joe, we prepared a very special song for this month. Yes. And the dance. Oh, it's so fun and exciting. You will like it. Okay, you guys are ready? Set? Go! Come on, big word. John 14, verse 6. Yeah, yeah. Jesus answered. I am the 